Okay, so you know that feeling when your kid is like, I'm starving five minutes, five minutes before dinner. And you're like, really? Now? Worst timing on The worst. And all you've got is like a bag of pretzels. Been there. Oh, constantly. <laughs> and it's like, how do we make this whole healthy snack thing, you know, less of a battle? Right. Because it shouldn't be a struggle every time. It really shouldn't. So that's why we are diving into this guide. It's from NewTimesCooking.com. It's called Ultimate Guide to Healthy Snacks for Kids. Okay. It's by Ella Savory. And let me tell you, this thing is packed. Yeah. But it's not just like recipes. Yeah. It's like the why. Right. Why this matters. And it's about so much more than just like eat this, it's good for you. It's about like, you know, their well-being. Right. Like how what they eat affects how they feel, how they behave. Yes. It's all connected. That's what's fascinating to me is... Like, she connects those afternoon meltdowns oh, yeah. to what they're snacking on. Blood sugar. Yeah. Stable blood sugar equals better behavior. Okay, so like a handful of almonds could be the key to a peaceful afternoon. You'd be surprised. It's yep. like providing that steady energy, you know? Right, because I'm all about those life hacks. Exactly. And it's setting them up not just for like a good afternoon, but for, you know, healthy habits as they grow long term exactly building those good habits now it makes such a difference so we know the why let's get practical what are we actually giving our kids right because you know she breaks it down into these nutrient categories that you know it's not just fruits and veggies it's although important very important but there's more to it like she talks about whole grains for that longer lasting energy healthy fats which you know brain food yes and this is stuff that even like, as adults, we forget. Totally. Need those reminders. We need those reminders. But here's where I got really excited. Like, she gets into specific snack ideas. Okay. Like, we're talking mini bell peppers stuffed with quinoa. Yeah. DIY sandwich stations. Like, fun stuff. And she's big on hydration, too, which is huge. Oh, my gosh, yes. Because they don't want to just drink water. No. So she's got those, like... Fun ideas to jazz it up. Totally. Make it appealing. Which I love. And speaking of appealing, that's where I think her snack hacks, that's what she calls them, really come in. Okay. Because these are things that, you know, even if you've got a picky eater. Right. They might actually go for this. It's about making it fun, right? Yes. It shouldn't be a chore. Exactly. Okay. But it's not just about, like, the hacks themselves. Right. It's like she gets that we're busy. Yeah. And, you know, she talks about getting the kids involved, yes. which I love because that's like half the battle sometimes, right? Totally. It's like, don't just tell them to eat it. Get them in on the action. Exactly. And I love how she phrases it. It's not go chop these carrots. It's like, let them be part of choosing the snack, prepping it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm all about that. Yeah. Because then they feel ownership over it. Exactly. They're more likely to eat it. And it teaches those life skills, you know. Yeah. They're not just learning about healthy food. They're learning about, like, kitchen skills. Totally. It's awesome. And, okay, this is huge because I struggle with this. Yeah. Those random I'm starving moments. Yes. Like, out of the blue, right? Five minutes before dinner. Of course. Every time. Every single time. And she talks about establishing regular snack times, which I was like, Yes. It's so smart. Because it's like, you know they're going to get hungry, so why not plan for it? It's exactly. It's about that predictability, right? Yeah. They know when to expect their next snack. It helps regulate those hunger cues. And then you're not, like, scrambling. And no more meltdowns. Okay, can we talk about, like, the junk food thing for a second? It's the elephant in the room. Because we're talking healthy snacks. Yeah. But we all know, like, the sugary treats... They happen. They do. It's real life. So how do we deal with that? And you know what? I appreciate that she doesn't demonize it. She's not saying never have these things. It's more about like being aware. Yes. Making informed choices. And that's where like I think this guide really helped me because it's like, you know when you're reading those labels? Yeah. And you're like, what even is this? So many ingredients you can't pronounce. Exactly. So I felt like this, it's like she gives you the decoder ring or something. Totally. Decoding those labels, it's key. You know, it's like, oh, that's what that means. Okay, now I can make a better decision. Exactly. And the swaps, I love that she gives you like healthier alternatives. Mm. Instead of feeling deprived, it's like, oh, I can have this instead. Right. And it doesn't have to be like this huge sacrifice. Exactly. Like Ew. baked veggie chips instead of potato chips. Yeah, still that crunch. <sighs> that salty, crunchy. Satisfying that craving, but in a healthier way. Exactly. Yeah. You know, one thing I really appreciated, like as a parent, 
you know, you've got different kids, different needs, wow. allergies, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. She gets into that. Oh, good. That's so important. It's not just like, here's a recipe, use peanut butter. Right. You know, like, well, my kid can't have peanut butter. Right, exactly. She's got those alternatives. Yeah, what do you do? Like sunflower seed butter. Oh, so Things like that. Love that. Where it's like, okay, you're giving me, like, options. Yeah, not just like, here's the one way to do it. Right. Because that's not real life, right? Exactly. And different kids have different needs, even beyond allergies, right? Like, how active they are. Oh, my gosh. That whole section on snacks for active kids. Yeah. I was learning things because it's not just about like refueling. It's about giving them what they need to actually recover. Right. To rebuild. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I haven't been doing that. It's easy to overlook. It is. But it's so key. It's so key. And, you know, I think like what it comes down to is she does a really good job of like explaining the why. Yeah. Like it's not just about eat this because I said so. It's like this is what this does for your body. Right. Empowering them with that knowledge. Exactly. And that's like so powerful for kids to understand. Totally. And she talks about that. Yeah. About making it a positive experience. Yes. It shouldn't be a punishment. Exactly. It's about building those positive associations with healthy food. And having fun with it. Exactly. Making it fun, getting them involved. And you know what else I loved? The fact that she doesn't shy away from like the budget aspect. Oh, yeah. Because healthy food can be expensive. It can be. But she gives all those great tips, like seasonal fruits and veggies. The best. Yeah. Frozen over fresh when it makes sense. So smart. It's about working smarter, not harder. Exactly. And that's what I love about this whole guide. It's just, it's practical, it's actionable, but it's also really encouraging. You know, it yeah. doesn't make you feel overwhelmed. It makes you feel empowered. Exactly. So if you're looking for a way to, you know, kind of up your snack game, yeah, definitely check out Ella Savory's uh, guide. It's on newtimescooking.com, ultimate guide to healthy snacks for kids. Awesome. It's a game changer. And maybe like you'll find some new favorites along the way too. Totally. Not just for your kids. Right. For you too. I might be like, sneaking some of those bell peppers oh for sure what about you what are you gonna try see that's the big question that's what we want you guys to think about this week what's one thing you can try one swap you can make small changes big difference exactly until next time